going to be about creating a gallery we shall be looking at how you can create a gallery in the best way possible because i know that as you move along the css journey uh, or the web development journey a time comes when you really want to create your own galleries or the images there are quite a number of ways of how you can for example create a, a gallery but i am going to teach you one of the easiest ways easy and standard it's not that when it is easy it is not standard forever you will be able to play around with your gallery in the best way possible by just following what i am going to teach i'm going to show you the differences in some of the things you have been uh, looking at and you will compare and realize that surely this must be one of the easiest ways out there um, of course we begin by creating this this uh, link that we are going to use and now one of the first tricks is to create the, um, you can create of course when you create a gallery it could not be of one image it's usually more than two, Im two images so but here in html and css you can for example choose to create one image and with one image you might not need to define the container of that image because it you just define the width and height then it would occupy the space you want with two images maybe now you would need to define how they are going to sit by default what you call document flow they would be able to sit uh, next to each other that is the one way uh, so that way then we would use the width of around 50 percent of the containing element i will show you what i mean if they are three then we would use 33.33 .33. Uh, if they are four then we would supply 25 percent what are we targeting 24 percent 25 percent by four is 100 33.3 by three since there are three images we would create as 99.99 which can be 100 then applying 50 percent when there are two images 100 percent when it is just one image so we are trying to say that the width of the viewport or the web browser is always 100 percent and that is not very true for the height but for the width you as long as you say 100 percent or define a certain percentage that is either below that is here that is below 100 then it is automatically understood by your web browser so our container for now we are going to create a class that we call gallery and inside here we are going to create an image in form of a link i don't want to create just a normal gallery i am trying to say what if you wanted to click on that image and maybe it takes you to a certain page what would it do for example we can say that if you click on these images they should take you to um maybe in any, any, any site we can say www.skycodes.com now this means that we can now where we are supposed to type the word that is seen by the viewers as a link is where we create the image you could as well create the, these images uh, pointing to the fold to the pages you have for example this could be um, an about us image that when you click on this image or one of the images inside our gallery it should take you to this page when you click on this it should it can also be sort of a bait but uh, allowed to be used so that is our image uh, we could give it a class uh, we could also there are, we can just maybe call it code 
So since it, we can just name it sky codes dot com to remember in case this image is later deleted or maybe somebody tampers with our code this word will remind us that the image here was to point at this site then we could have another image pointing to different pages in our own site so um in here we could also say target blank or we could just make sure somebody stays on our page that is okay um then we could as well add a class because we want to style the image itself directly we can use this class we are referring to image gallery because these images are being created to be used in the gallery then next we could add for example a description uh, with its own class then we could say maybe <coughs> we can say main just main code picture so this would be like the name of the picture uh, what that picture is a description that makes the user understand what that picture is all about assuming you are creating uh, pictures of people or a gallery of people or staff in your in your company that is what you would do so now what follows is us um, is us giving other images just creating other images right now you are almost done apart from the designing phase you are almost done with what you wanted to do you're almost done with what you wanted to do um, so now i'm creating different images um, so I can come here, image 8, maybe I can call it just anything that is relevant, beautiful, beautiful scenery. I could as well say maybe um, like this one here, you know it is an image with colors, you can say great, you can say great coloring. Let us look at image 27. We can find it in our image folder. Um, then we see what type of image this is. As that image 27. It's better to actually have named them right for images. So image 27 is also about color. We could do that. You can also call this one here. Okay, you can change a bit master coloring, assuming it is better than the one below. Um, we open with live server such that whatever things we keep doing uh, are uh, uh, refreshed quickly. So this is a smaller image, whereas these others are quite huge. We shall define that uh, later, but you can as well look at the description present. So that's what we are going to do now. We have created our images. I will also show you uh, something else. We could uh, now say that the main class or the main container gallery, its width should be 25%. Uh, meaning we are creating sections that are 25% four sections because the total percentage would be a hundred so by doing this we create four equal sections then we say floats whatever is inside these should float left okay uh, then we can say margin margin dash bottom we are trying to create a space of say 30 pixels downwards from this class whatever else you are going to add after this class should start after 30 pixels or should leave a space of 30 pixels now we can as well say 
at the dot gallery that when you hover over our gallery uh, sorry mind is working very fast that when you hover over the gallery we can create a box shadow zero on top zero at the right left 10 pixels for bra then we can create our own color here um, you can say 68,1 you can use your own color depending on maybe if you've got the page background and, and gradients maybe on the page that would be no problem so when we go back you will find, you will find something uh, that is cooking right now you can see they are wrong it is okay we're going to fix this but now you can see we have four sections unlike when they were uh, unlike when they were moving to different in, unlike when they were following the document flow you can see when we hover over we've already created our box shadow there which is nice like you will see so now we can come to the images themselves they were in dot gallery then dot image dash gallery so i'm um, assuming what if i had other uh, classes maybe like gallery so that they don't affect this otherwise you would have used just dot, Im, dot image dash gallery since it is a class on its own we will have assumed that it is the only class on this page so we can say with this if we say with this a hundred percent we shall have said that for every container that was 25 percent rate anything that is inside there occupy it with or occupy it fully that's what we mean occupy it fully you will realize we are supplying actually two types of widths uh, in this uh, one here is for making sure the image mm, is, is fully contained or is fully occupying its uh, location the other width is controlling how big the image should be and eventually we can maybe begin with 320 this will defer from probably whether you are using a desktop computer and a laptop they have different number of pixels especially on the width uh, the, the width size might be different we shall see what we mean so when we say 100 percent we now have them here you can see that uh, there is a great separation you see so we could as well maybe say that this width here should be what if we made it 330 then we shall see you can see the, the space here keeps on reducing you might choose to to start it and your width cannot uh, let me show you. you might think that if you don't need to write something we can come here and say h1 and then we say welcome uh, a few words welcome to our gallery so when we do that then we shall see the word there you can see it we can style it but we are not here for this we covered these things under text so there we are uh, three third so that wood particularly is working on this on the on, on this uh, on the spaces inside there in between the images you could maybe make it 35 here and the widths will keep getting smaller i hope you see that so this could be better then there is another element another css property you can use if you say the margin margin maybe margin zero in case there are certain pixels you are fighting with or maybe there are other margins that were present around then you would have eliminated them using that so you can see that these are our images created the property so these could be one board members and stuff like that 
and these are actually eco images so that is one way now we can work on the description on that wording you can say disk and then maybe we say text line center uh, we need the font style the font style to be italic uh, we can as well say that the color should maybe see green so when we do that you see we now have them at the center they are italicized I prefer this but if you wanted you could add you could give this down apart its own background describe its height and stuff like that but this is good enough now after creating that then it means all you need to do in case you have more images later you could come here mm -hmm. copy this uh, paste them here if you wanted to create a line between them but remember we've even created the margin now when we go back we see we've created other so the diff the space here was created by margin dash bottom 30 pixels uh, you can see our three fifths they are getting close to each other so we can take it back to maybe 330 then we wait uh, so you can keep playing around with that now this is your gallery later we are going to look at how to make responsive uh, images then you can now come and apply the same parameter here um, that is how to create your gallery and uh, now all you need is to supply other different images here for example let us look at some of the other images we didn't use i think we didn't use for example 25 9 mm, 2 let us see can call this image 25 we can call this 9 we can call this style 2 we can leave that one just to show you that you can do what you want okay so here we are now you have finished with this the rest will keep falling in line because you have already set the parameters and you want them to be the same so it doesn't matter if you wanted to have say eight on this line then you'd have to get eight a hundred divided by by eight then that is the widest percentage we we'll use and if it cannot be divisible by by a hundred then make sure you maintain at least two two decimal places because if you divide the a hundred say by 8 you get 12.5 but you know at 12 by 8 you would be getting 96 so you make sure you have say 12 you, may, you do not say 12 you maintain 12.50 because at 12, exactly 12.50 is when you get uh, you get a hundred percent then those would be your eight images this is where you would change it from you would come to the main container on top here where we've put this then you change it to 12 uh, 12.5 so when you do that this one will be now you can see we have our eight images here all you need to play around is how wide this should be we can start by saying that this is 150 in the width and you see now we have it like that then of course you could uh, create it to be 200 you until you achieve what you want then this means we can make it at 180 and then we we'll reduce this height to be around 150 slightly closer to the other one and here we are so these are now eight images in a gallery. 
the trick was on dividing 100% by the number of images we want to create in our gallery. Those are the tricks that we use. Otherwise, you will sweat and fail to understand what you need to do. Yeah, that is, it is very easy to fail on what you want to do. So here we have created our spaces back, play around with those pixels, and now this one will be very okay. You have created, successfully created your stuff. So the rest here you play around with, in case you wanted to make them responsive, then you play around with responsiveness and that will be able to do that. And that is what we are going to look at next. So we can take this back. Now that you have seen how we were playing around with the, the figures to make sure we create what we want when we go back here we are with our four items. So that is a a very good trick to use the biggest trick here is that you create them each image in its own container but the container has the same name such that you can easily affect all the images at the same time if you were to put all images inside that but that same container you would find it difficult difficult in in for example playing around with this uh, caption so keep all those in mind and thank you.